very good afternoon to my dear lecturer, Pan Puti and fellow friends. Okay, my name is Shelton Paul, and here are my group members, Aima Wati, <coughs> Simeon, Zairato, and Edwin David. Alright, today we are actually representing Harpik, and we have come up with a new product called the Vanquisher. Uh, that's Vanquish with just a spring. Alright, let's move on. Okay, first thing we are going to look at is called the Product Development and Idea Screening. In, in, in this step, we actually uh, gather our ideas on what are the products, what are the new products that Harpik wants to come up with. And we came up with three products. One is Power Wash, which is a detergent, and Air Breeze, which is a, something like a, a air freshener, and of course, our Vanquisher Spray, which is a dirt remover, a stain remover for toilet and common walls. So when, when we have these products with our marketing team and our research team, we have come up with these products, these three products we place, we've come up with six questions that we ask ourselves on which product that we want to choose. Out of the six questions is, we, we of course want to see which product brings us profit and is, uh, how you say, um, whether it's competitive and something the market wants and also is it in our zone of um, technology, which means can we produce the product or do we have to spend extra resources in producing the product. So uh, from all this, we chose the Vanquisher Spray because uh, power wash for the detergent, there are many competitors out there uh, who are actually selling detergent and if Harpik were to go, it will be like a brand new market that we are entering in because we have never created a dishwash, uh, sorry, uh, detergent before. And if we do that, it will be like, it's still new. You know, and it's like a very big step that we'll be taking. Same goes for air freshener. And we say that we are not ready to take that risk yet. So why not we go for the vanquisher spray? Uh, removing dirt, something that is in our zone. Because we have been, uh, how you say, we, we too good with uh, uh, handling the toilet cleaning, as you know, Harpik is so famous in handling the toilet cleaning area and you know coming up with uh, toilet bowl cleaners and washers and everything. And this vacuum spray is just a very simple idea that we came up with where you just spray on the wall and you can just wipe it off. Alright, uh, further on that, my friend will explain on the testing and all that. Simeon? Uh, uh, good afternoon everyone. Alright, uh, so I'll be talking about idea development and testing. So, yeah. so through the combined research from the marketing and the research department, we found out that customers' expectation of our new product is that the product is anticipated to remove stubborn and hard dirt efficiently without, exper without experiencing any difficulties in doing so. So like, uh, like the tagline says, with just a spray, dirts are removed. So a uh, customer can also exp uh, expect the product to be easy to carry, where uh, it's not only for house use, you can, uh, if you want to travel around, you can bring the product as well. And they, they also can look for the product to be user friendly, whereby it is easy to use, no complication in handling. So uh, when you want to apply the product on the toilet or the toilet wall, so it's like, there's not really necessary steps or procedure, so you can just uh, use it easily. So lastly, uh, it can be washed off easily with water. So this is our one of our main point. Because the, uh, when we say the dirt can be removed with just a spray, you can imagine that the product is very powerful. It's a very powerful cleaning agent. So uh, usually when people see that it's a very powerful cleaning agent, they think it's very corrosive as well. So our main idea is it uh, wouldn't cause any irritation or harm to the skin when it spills on your part of the body. So my, the next would be marketing strategy. My friend Edwin will explain that. Good afternoon. Right, uh, for the marketing strategy, there is four things. The first one will be product for the Apic Vanquisher. The first one, in terms of size, 
which is a 450 ml and then the water it's a transparent plastic bottle all right and then uh, liquid it's in uh, attractive uh, blue color and uh, the description of arctic vanquisher it's a uh, kills 99.9 percent .9 of bacteria and viruses remove and clean hard state and the multi-purpose usage not we not necessarily only must use for the walls whereas we also can use for the tiles as well and also freshening uh, fragrance okay and now like pass on here yeah, that's sorry the next in terms of price all right it's a uh, around 9 ringgit and 99 cent for 450 ml in terms of promotion okay we also can advertise through tv commissions facebook uh, pop-up advertisement instagram and also twitter in terms of free items so we will attach together the free items which is free brush sponge keychain with optic vanquisher logo and we also will distribute our template to others so, so that each and every so that the customers will know what are the products about so in terms of place okay uh, we will be selling at the supermarkets and also the hypermarkets as well so now i would like to pass on to the Our initial investment is 1.5 million for the products and the product we expected to uh, produce in a month for 30,000 units and the cost price for each product is 5 ringgit and the selling price is uh, 9 ringgit 99 cents. We expected to get a profit uh, of 4 ringgit 99 cents till 5 ringgit and the markup percentage is actually 100%. So per day, we're expecting to sell 750,000 products and we, gain, we will gain 7,500 ringgits per day and for per month we, we get 1,350,000 okay, um, for the first 6 months we expected to get uh, 1,350,000 1, and we not uh, gain any profits as we will use it for the business usage for the next 6 months which is from July to December we will uh, get around 675,000 for the profits. Alright, I'll be explaining about the product development. So, this is what we've come up with. As you can see the logo, uh, I've picked the Vanquisher with the tagline down there, Dirt's Vanquish with just a spray. So, anyone got Marco or anything? Huh? Applying this is easy as just spraying it on it and rubbing it off. So imagine stubborn dirt, stubborn stain, whereas uh, you don't think it's possible for it to remove. It's easy as that. That's what's the product for. So when you apply it on your skin, it doesn't cause any irritation, any harm. testing um, we have taken the sales wave research method okay this method we feel is very appropriate for Harpik because uh, why is because Harpik is already a very well known brand and we already have the customers that are loyal to us and with this okay what we want to do is actually our plan is very simple we are going to put our products in already our existing customers hands and also the new customers that are going to come in because they already trust Harpik and when we go to our malls and you know we give free sampling you know we say this is a new product from us we expect them to actually take it free of charge we're not going to charge them anything but just a small bottle for them to go back and try that spray try it on the dirt and then they will know how powerful actually is our spray so our objective is actually very simple we are going to force free trial how is by giving them the free product without them knowing we are actually gonna force the free trial on them of course they're gonna take the product and they are they are not gonna leave it at home and just let it be you know when we get a free soap or what we're gonna try it out so they would go and try and see whether it really works so that is our objective we're gonna do that and we're gonna create an opportunity for those of them to try and repurchase which means when they come and when we are getting free samples 
we'll just ask them to write their names and just a simple detail so that now they have got our free sample and if they're really uh, excited about it and they really like our product and they want to repurchase they just give their that number that we have given them and they can they can repurchase the item with a lower price so that's what we are aiming for for the test marketing all right and from here our main objectives is this for we want to create awareness about the vanquisher to people so that they will know that there is such a product that Hapik has invented a new product called the vanquisher and also trial we want them to try and see how powerful is our product also we want them to purchase it of course and once they try if they really like it we want them to purchase it and also you know share it with their friends and so on right the last test which is a commercialization so the first one will be launching in january 2015 in uh, Klang valley and uh, we'll be selling at all supermarkets and hypermarkets and uh, we'll be giving uh, free gifts, promotions, uh, discounts for the customers as well. And then placing in the middle shelf, it will be uh, attractive for the customers so that they don't need to, if it is I means they don't need to take it from up and they don't need to bend, they just can take it from the middle itself. Alright? And then uh, giving away free sampling. So, okay, we will be giving free sample so that they can just uh, test the product. If they like it, they can just purchase it. That's all for commercialization at the last step uh, for the last NPD. Now I would like to pass on to Aima for the action plan. Okay, as for the action, uh, action plan for uh, Harpik and Kiria for 2015, as we can see here, it's actually there's uh, three different colors on, my, on the table. So the yellow will determine the fastest season, the light red will mean the open boost sale, the blue will mean the regular sale. Okay, and we, uh, as we can see here, um, in the month of January and February, what we're targeting is actually the Chinese New Year promo. For example, what we can do here is actually, um, in, in addition to introduce our product, so we can start off with the Chinese New Year promo, like you buy second item at 50% discount. So, um, at the same time, um, during the festive season, typically what we're going to do is actually to advertise our product at TV advertisement. So um, it will um, basically generate uh, to help to generate our income, um, our sales. And then, um, as we can see now in the March, actually uh, during the month of March, there's nothing much uh, happening in our Malaysian calendar. So what we're gonna do is actually just sell the product with the regular sales uh, and with the normal price. It's actually what we can do. Other side um, advertisement tool that we can do is actually on-site sales banner and pamphlet. For example, we're going to put our stuff over there and maybe we just can show them and just give them some kind of information about our product. And at the month of April, we what we're going to do is actually to open booth sale. For example, like we want to gain back our um, our regular customer at this month to make sure that they repurchase back because during the duration, the product might be finishing uh, already at their home. So what we can do, actually, we do the radio advertisement banner pamphlet and again what we're gonna do in April is actually open book sale with buy one bottle at 20% free gift for example like my friend said just now we can put the uh, the like uh, the the, uh, the brush or the sponge with it at the product and the May we're gonna go back to our typical regular price and back to June July and August for example here this three months is our main um, target market and to make sure our marketing uh, 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 department is really active. For example, like we have Raya promo. So we choose this um, June, July and August and as well as Merdeka promo. So we will do the same price discount like buy second item at for 50% discount and as well as the TV advertisement with the newspaper. Back to uh, September, it will be the regular as of May and on October, we're going to go for um, open book sale and November, December will be the same as the June, July and August. So uh, that's all from us. Uh, and then this is our, um, uh, what do you call it, one of our marketing advertisement. For example, we're going to put it at the lorry, van, and this is the pamphlet. And this is the promotion plastic for vendor in the sales side.
(um) that's it from us